Hi all, my name is Gagan and welcome to today's session that is how to install Ruby plugin slash language pack for Eclipse IDE. So we are going to proceed with the below steps to install Ruby in Eclipse and that is launch an Eclipse IDE, navigate to help, then install new softwares, select your Eclipse IDE version from work with section, expand programming languages, select tools for Ruby developer checkbox, install the Ruby package, navigate to work windows preferences, and then navigate to Ruby interpreter add ruby.exe. So we'll just start our session today by launching Eclipse IDE. So I'll just launch it. Select the workspace. So you can see Eclipse is launched over here. I'll just maximize it. I'll go back to the PPT. After launching Eclipse IDE, I just navigate to help and new softwares help install new softwares this page is loaded now I'll just select Eclipse ID version from work with section so I'll just go to the drop down select my version that is Luna you can see it is showing pending over here it means it is loading all the libraries or all the packages under this section so I'll just wait for a while so you can see it is loaded now we'll just go down again back to PPT it says expand programming languages I'll go back to Eclipse again so you can see this is the programming language section I'll just expand it I'll go back to PPT now it says select tool for Ruby developer checkbox so we'll just navigate down to see the section okay so this is it just check the checkbox so you can see it says tool for Ruby developers just click on next you can see it is just calculating the requirement and dependencies so it will take a while so we'll just wait for it to calculate so we can see it's loaded click next accept the agreement finish so it's installing the software just wait for a while to install it's asking to restart eclipse i'll just do it eclipse is reloading again selecting workspace It is done. We'll go back to PPT. After installing Ruby package, navigate to Windows and Preference. So I'll just go to Windows Preferences. Here it says click Ruby Interpreter. So I'll just click on Ruby. You can see the Ruby plugin is here now as it was not there previously. After installing Ruby, it comes here. So click on Interpreter. So you can see by default, this interpreter is installed because my Ruby is placed in this package. But if in case for you, if it is not there, just just you click on add, browse, navigate to path where Ruby is installed. For me, it is in C drive Ruby 22-X64, then bin, and just select ruby.exe over here. Open, click OK. You can see it is here. Just click OK. In your case, for me, it is already there, so I will not click OK. I will click cancel. So it's done. So you can see now we have Java over here. So for Ruby, we need a Ruby uh, tab also over here. So just click on open perspective window you can see ruby is here click that click ok you can see ruby is here now so you can easily go do right click and click a ruby project because now ruby plugin is installed just click ruby project over here type ruby test project name i think already exists i'll just type ruby test again click finish you can see the project is created you can again create a file under it it is right click new go to file We'll type the name first test test dot rb that is a ruby extension just click finish so you can see the file is also created with the ruby icon over here it means we are able to create a ruby file so we'll just type sample text saying put hello world we'll save it to run this Ruby file to test whether the plugin is installed or not, I'll just click right, go to run as Ruby script. You can see it is printed. It means the plugin is working fine with Eclipse and we are able to run Ruby code with this. So this was all for today's session. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do share the link. Hit subscribe button as well. Thanks a lot.